I've seen enough memes at this point to know my queerness is kind of like one of those cartoony scent trails that slowly floats me in the direction of every delicious video essay in my general vicinity. I love them. Eat them up. Yum. And I may be an eminent consumer as it comes to video essays, but in doing so I've stumbled myself into something of a refined palette. Here on Queer Creator of the Month, I highlight the fine dining of the bunch, and lucky for you, these fancy dishes, you can have them for free. And so we arrive at this month, July's Queer Creator of the Month. That's Evelyn, also known as I Am Error. Not only is this lady making only the most scrumptious of video essays, they're also guilt-free. This stuff is healthily and ethically produced. How can something this good be this good for me? You will find yourself asking. She's a content creator. She's an academic. She's a mom to a toddler. And she's a trans woman doing really cool stuff that I love. I think one of the things that I value most, and one of the things I have a lot of internal debate about as it comes to my own content, is authenticity. I Am Error is a great example of authentic content creation. Is her content thoughtfully produced and entertaining? Yes, it is! Do I feel that in the pursuit of this entertainment and production, she is compromising her true self or identity in the making of her videos? Not at all. If anything, I feel that her commitment to being her true self in her analysis of games and everything else is a big part of what makes her special. This combination is a difficult one to find, on the internet or anywhere else. And on top of all that, I Am Error is also something else, something daring. She's open. She shares her truth and always incorporates real and raw experiences in the videos that she makes and when she talks about all kinds of things. It's a risky and fragile position to put oneself in, especially on the internet, regardless of who you are, let alone a trans woman and especially in today's fucky times. And this isn't to say her videos or she hasn't changed over time. In fact, I think part of what I find so appealing and authentic about her work is that you get to see the growth and self-discovery in real time in her videos. And as you make your way through her video catalog, which I certainly hope you do, you see quickly she's prospering, she's developing, and improving and gaining more self-precision, but it's also interesting to see her clear struggle with the concept of and the reality of change. I'm in an eternal, internal battle between regretting everything I've ever done and trying not to do that. But all of those experiences have brought her here, to this strange place on the internet we all find ourselves in. And given what she's adding to this world, her current position is a clear sign that there's more reason for appreciation than guilt or regret as it comes to her past experience. This is her journey, not mine, but I'm just so grateful to find her here. I find her experience, whether it's more recent or far in the past, really interesting and unique and useful. As a trans woman, as a former parachurch missionary, as an academic, as a mom, she brings helpful thoughts as it comes to things like how to be effective in a political movement, especially as it comes to trans rights. She often footstomps her already effective points in her videos with thoughtfully laced academic research and evidence. She's serious, but also not always that self-serious, which I appreciate. There's humor mixed in throughout all her videos. And you know, she commits to the bit. She dresses up as Mario and Peach to really prove her bona fides. And though I find the combination of things that makes Evelyn Evelyn makes I am error, I am error, particularly unique and special, I also don't think that inhibits her relatability. I find her incredibly relatable as a queer person, as someone wanting to do what's best really at all times, learning to balance self-criticism so it doesn't cross a line into self-abuse, as someone really into, and in my case, hyper fixated on a bunch of really specific and interesting things, as a conscious gamer, and really just as a human, constantly growing. Her work is some that I find genuinely inspiring. And I also love that it revolves around my one true love, video games. Surprise! I want you 
to subscribe to I Am Error. I want you to follow her on Twitter. I want you to support her on Patreon if you can. All links in the description. The video I want to highlight today from her channel is her most recent one. Her path of growth that I've emphasized quite a bit in this video also includes the growth of video excellence. I think they're all lovely videos and together encapsulate an incredibly powerful and worthwhile channel. But there's no denying the quality of her most recent one. It clearly shows the value of her growth, her honesty, her perspective, and it hits it out of the park. The video is called Ocarina of Time is the Mayonnaise of Video Games, a somewhat crowdsourced title, which I find almost as endearing as the video itself. I don't want to spoil this particular mayo, but suffice it to say this mayo is an elevated one. A journey delicately and delectably intertwined with the experience of playing a video game. Go watch it, like, now. You won't regret it. And that's it for this month's Queer Creator of the Month. Thanks for joining, and go support I Am Error. She is great! Let me know in the comments if there are other queer creators you'd like me to highlight in the future. And subscribe for more of this and other fun queer stuff on this channel. Until we dive again, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.